this, I am doing a live stream currently where we're going to be uh, building a green deck with a bunch of cards that I've uh, ordered from a, a lot. So hopefully everything looks good right now. I actually can't see stream chat right now. I just realized with this setup. So I need to see if I could hopefully go in um, chat and see the live chat through here. Uh, hey, what's up? Wow, the first person in here might be super fast. All right, so let me go ahead and get this camera set up then so that the mat looks good on stream. How does that look? Uh, let's see, let's see, go live. It's a little better. Actually, that's worse. <laughs> Ew, sorry guys, if you're watching this after the live stream. Okay, yeah, that does look better. Okay, sorry, so yeah, I have not streamed from this angle before. First, hey, what's up, Bryce? What's up, IMBK? Nope, looks like you got barely beat your second. Welcome to the stream, though. So that should be enough. Can I zoom out? I can't. Can I do that, though? Looks good, looks good. It's okay, though. What's up, guys? Yeah, so we're going to be building um, a 1.5 uh, green. And this is going to be after the um, after the limit list. So we're going to be... Um, well, we got like a little bit of everything here. So we have the package here. Hopefully this shows up well. The little happy Valentine's Day reuse packaging the seller did. And then this is pretty cool. So the, the package also came with these sleeves for Evie. They just tossed them in. So that's pretty cool. They just tossed in the sleeves for no reason. Uh, and a little extra bonus for buying from them, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Because this is uh this is like basically like every uncommon and common, I think, just together. I'm going to do my best to not screech about the BT4 shakeup because of the promo. Yeah, the BT4 shakeup is insane. Like, oh my goodness. Um, The fact that they did that is so great because, like, a lot of us have been playing, you know? So, like, we're all used to how it's supposed to be. And this makes it new and fresh for everyone, and that's awesome. I'm really happy that they're going to do that, Um, that they're doing that, that they're, um, that they're shaking it up with those promos and stuff. That is awesome. Didn't you didn't see you say first? That's true. Tech, wait, not sure if it was true. You didn't say first. So in spirit, Bryce is first. Uh, I should probably tweet out that I'm live now. Let me do that actually. True though. And we're oops. And where is the end key? There is and we're. The, the mat is covering up my keyboard, so it's unbelievably hard to type right now. I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Tweet that. Let's just post it in the Facebook group. Uh, let's, uh, let me just move this really quick so I can actually see. So that's posted to the Facebook groups. Oh, I should probably post it on Discord too. Stream streams, let them know I'm going live. Uh, where else can I post this? Streams. Stream. I should probably do all this before. I gotta use that that feature where it's like make it uh, an event and like it counts down or whatever, so I could get all the links out uh, while that happens. At stream pings. Stream things. Okay. So I think that's like everywhere I would have to post a stream to. <clears throat> so what's going on in chat? Uh, did you sleeve reveal? Hell yeah. Sure you can. I'm just happy to be here. I'm going to set you type like a normal person instead of pointy finger only. <laughs> like a cartoon character. Yeah. Like... No, yeah. I type like a normal person. I'm a nerd. A loser. Let me fix this, the deck up now. We got six people in here. Cool. So we can probably start building soon. Yeah, because let's um let people get in here first and then we can start doing stuff. Super professional this way though. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so I'm excited because this was um I, I got a pretty good deal because I think like uh the seller wasn't getting any bites, so they lowered the price on it. So I got all these for 20 bucks. So that was a pretty good deal. Cause before I didn't have anything, I didn't buy any boxes, I didn't buy any um what do you call it? singles or booster packs from 1.5 
So I was just planning to keep playing red only into it. It doesn't change that much outside of a couple key rares or whatever. But um, outside of Alter S2, I guess that's it. So yeah, I wasn't planning to get a lot of 1.5 stuff, but now I got this, so now we have a green deck. I don't have Ceresses. I, I did have a trade that I was trying to work out, but it kind of just felt um, Lilith is going to hold way more value. So I might get Ceres later, but this is a pretty good budget option nonetheless. All right, how many Lotmon are you putting in your green deck? How many Lotmon? <laughs> Zero. This is green, sir. Oh, geez, you were putting Pokemon sleeves on Digimon cards again. Oh, no. So these just came um, with the seller. The seller actually gave me these. Or rather, this came with a lot. So it was um, this lot here. Uh, was like a bunch of play sets of green 1.5 cards. And for some reason, they just tossed in these cute little Eevee sleeves as a little bonus. So yeah, it was $20 for everything all together. So that's really cool. Uh, I was really happy with that. So I probably won't actually use these because these are the um, Elite Trainer Box sleeves and they're really bad quality. I think the last things I ever bought were the Trainer's Toolkits and apparently those are actually much better quality than these. You can feel a difference right away, but I don't know if the Elite Trainer Boxes now use that new technology or if they keep using the dumb ones. So I have no idea. But no, I would never sleep an entire, maybe for this, because this is literally a $20 deck max we're gonna build here, <laughs> unless I get Ceresis. We'll see what we're doing. Uh, Lotmon is good in mono green. Lotmon is good. I mean, if you brick and you need to pull something out, <laughs> that's the spicy tech, right? Yeah. You got, oh, gotta give the stream a like. Gotta give myself a like right here. There we go, add it to like videos. Uh, Lotmon is good in mono green for sure. We got five people in here. What's going on here? Show me, please. <laughs> okay. All right, we got six people in here. Let's go ahead and start opening this, get everything out. So like this is, this pile over here on, is this your left? Should be your right. Um, these are everything I got from 1.5 booster box for what I bought and what I traded for. So this is my own stuff. This is literally just 1.5 because I don't have, for myself, I don't have anything from 1.5, only 1.0. So we got some veggies and stuff here. And then this here is all the new stuff we just bought. So I'm excited to finally open this. This actually came in the mail yesterday. The estimated delivery was on Friday, but I just, I just wanted to be sure and make it safe for Friday. But like, yeah, I can't just change the date just because it came early. I had to uh, hold it for Friday. So I've been excited to open this all day yesterday and today. Yeah, we got some time ones in here. We got, I only have two wood months. I'm very surprised. Currently this card is $2.50 on TCG player. That blows my mind. Like why? <laughs> I, I didn't know that. But uh, so yeah, maybe we won't run a full blocker placement. Then we'll try more out. Got the one meme. So yeah, this is everything I pulled at 1.0. Let's go ahead and start opening up the 1.5 stuff that I ordered. That's what it's really excited. Yeah, these things are cute. I like them. Uh, let's see here. I thought liking your own stuff was taboo. I doubt it. <laughs> I I mean, I didn't even know you could like your own stuff on uh, YouTube until I started being a YouTuber. But yeah, let's go ahead and open these up. I'm so excited. Oh, looks like we get... Ooh, so we actually get the sealed dash... Uh, these aren't dash bags. They're box toppers, right? We actually get the sealed fly mom. Cute. It's thematic. We get the seal of Flymon. I actually like these um, alt art uh, security mods. A lot of people don't like them, but I like the little security lock symbol. It's really cute in my opinion. I like it a lot. So that's cool. We got that. I would have never gotten it otherwise because I hadn't planned to buy any boxes. So that's cool. And then nice little seller here too. It looks like we got... Oh, it looks like these are sleeve compared to the other cards. Can I open them up without breaking the bag? This bag is some weird packaging. Cool. So it looks like we actually got the Altar. Yeah, we got both. Check that out. We got two Altar Grand Kawagas from the Dash Pack, and then we got um, the one you pull from the set. So that's pretty cool. I really wish Bandai had released these cards um, in 1.0, because this would have been good. This would have been one of your few counters to beat over Omimon um, in the whole game at that point. So it's really a shame this card got cheated out of a um, 1.0 slot. Would have been really good. Especially for like the first couple weeks of, of, of 1.5 too, because we had HPD at 4, but oh well. So this is cool. Yeah, I'm really surprised. This is like the Altar. It's like a dollar, maybe. A dollar max. <laughs> These guys. And then this is like literally like four cents probably on TCG Player. Are we going to be running Grand Kuaga in our budget deck? I think even in budget deck, I wouldn't run Grand Kuaga because four cost is just too, too huge. Uh, but we'll see. Like, we got this whole, um, yo, Donkey Nog, what's up? Welcome to the stream. The hand reveal? Yeah, the hand reveal. We, we got a couple of those in the webcam games. This is a full-on hand reveal. But, uh, yeah, so the Grand Kawaga, that's pretty cool to see that. That's nice. And then, um, let's pull out the rest of the set. 
let me just do it like a chunk at a time. So actually, I op I did open this to make sure everything was in here that we needed. And then this did come with three Dino Beasts. So I needed this to open this to finish my um, Imperial Drummond deck that I've been playtesting yesterday. But uh, yeah, everything else I haven't seen it. So let's just go ahead and go through. Because yeah, this is a huge lot. Uh, very generous for 20 bucks. Mint B. I feel like Grand Kuaga and Batch of Sting overlap a bit, to be honest. They do have similar effects. They really shouldn't have been released at the same time, I feel like. Hey, I was hoping you'd head over after your stream was done. You would head over after your stream was done. Oh, cool. I'm actually shocked at how cheap alt art Kuwaga is. Like, I know it's not good, but still. Yo, what up, Mint? Yeah, seriously. I mean, like, it's a dash pack, you know? So, like, you can literally only get those by buying a certain amount of packs, right? You think it'd be more than a dollar, at least. It's really surprising to me, too. For sure. So let's see what we got here. Uh, are these in order? They are. So we got a place. Whoa, we got more than a place set. We got five Dokugumons. This card isn't good because like it's six the cost just to search the top three. And then trash the remaining cards. So it doesn't even send them to the bottom. Like if this card would, was like also a purple evolution, it would be pretty good, I would say. Because then you could at least use it as a bridge to a multicolored deck. But yeah, this card is useless. Maybe in the future... For some reason, trash will be a key mechanic in green and it'll be useful, but I don't know. Yeah, we got the one Dino Beast. This was actually three Dino Beasts. I had it, um, this is three Dino Beasts. This used to be three. I took the two out and put it in my Pierre Drummond deck already so I could finish a playtest yesterday. And then we, what else do we got here? We got the four Puppet Pummel. So we got a place of a Puppet Pummel. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then one of your Digimon gets plus 200 DP. It's a okay card. Well, actually, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad, especially with no security effect. And then we got the Orarumon. So, guys, I'm just saying. I have a playset of every blue card in 1.5 that is not a super rare. And we got the Araru Mons now. I'm just saying, dudes, we could run Rookie Rush. Do we run the Rookie Rush? We'll see what tournament I answer with Rookie Rush. Because now I do have all the tools. <laughs> so we got that playset. That came in a lot. Bryce, or IMBK says, I don't like security mods outside of yellow or meme decks. Yeah, for sure. Yellow is like the only time they're useful because you can actually stack your security pretty reliably in that deck. And then... Um, yeah, but they're make, they make some fun meme decks. I got a profile going up tomorrow about security decks. Then we got Cherry Blast. Cherry Blast, I don't, what does this card do? Suspend all of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. Activate this card's main effect. Also, that's why people were joking about running this card to counter Rookie Rush. Because, yeah, because pretty hard Rookie Rush counter. But literally the only thing it counters. So that's pretty um situational. Definitely would not run the Cherry Blast, personally. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, looks like my phone camera's too bad to be able to really show that effectively. And then this is pretty funny. We got the play set of HPD, even though it's limited to one, but that's fine. It's uh, you know, now I don't need to like keep sort of shuffling it around if I build multiple green decks. I don't know, something like that. We got two Kenichi Yojis, that's pretty cool. This card isn't good. This is literally bent. This is literally Stingmon's effect, but on a, a tamer, um, it's just not good. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> So this, oh, this is pretty cool too. I didn't expect this. We got the, the a new world promo. So these are the uh, memorial packs. Didn't expect to see those in there. And we got Positron Laser. I need to add this to my Imperial Drummon deck. Right now I am running, um, what is it called? I'm running Kakita's Breath to make up for my lack of Lonely Mons. So I'll probably just cut that for Positron Laser because what you want to, because you can swing for lethal. You just need to stall a bit in green. And this helps more with that rather than to remove the thread out, right? Shadow Jerick says, make me wish we had sideboards. Yeah, sideboards are fun. I like. I mean, I like sideboards in Yu-Gi-Oh. We got four Mega Gargoyle. Terramon line is one of my. It's, it's literally my favorite line in um, Digimon. Then we got the two Argos. So this card's underrated. Um, in Japan, it came out of Booster Set too, so it's a shame it didn't get a chance to shine. But it's pretty underrated. We got the full playset of Bancho Sting. That's pretty cool. We got the four uh, Blossomons. We don't need all four, but we do have four Argomons now. We got the playset of the uh, the uh, Rapidmon. So now we got a playset of Flymon, one of them being the uh, Altart. We got only three Stingmons. I wouldn't, it depends on the list you're running, but I usually don't max it out in my testing anyways. Four Gargomon. So fun fact, this is actually my favorite Digimon of all time. I love Gargomon, but um, the mascot is Terriermon because it's just easier to say, oh yeah, my favorite Digimon is Terriermon rather than um, the one in the middle line or whatever. But yeah, Gargomon's my favorite of all time. And uh, maybe, maybe the Terriermon will become a Gargomon one day. And then we got four of this uh, Download Champion, four Kudimons. Oh, so this is just a vanilla. Okay. We got four Terrier Mons, cute mascot, four Argomons, two Wormmons, and then we got the babies. We got a playset of each baby, I want to say. Yeah, we got a playset of each baby in 1.5 for green. They're both pretty good. This is definitely more situational than uh, Minomon, which helps you swing over certain things. So we got that. And then let's see what we got in 1.0. I have the, um, we got the, Ar the plus 100 Agumon. I do have a playset. I'm just looking for it. 
We do got Gobblymon. I have some extras of that, so we're gonna be running him too. Let's see. So let's just I'm just laying everything out for us so we see what we have to work with. So we do have that uh, three veggies. Here it is, the playset. We actually have five of the Gobblymons. We got Tynamon, another egg we could run. We got Freemon, which isn't very good, but it's there. So Kakuamon, this card is spicy in um, green and pale drum on decks. Uh, I like it in green and drum on decks, but that's literally the only time the card's ever good because it's a one to Digivolve um, rookie with a four hard cast. It's just way too situational otherwise. What else do we got in here that could be useful that I'm trying to lay out here? Yeah, we got the play set of commentaries. That's a key card in um, in green, the play set of commentaries. We got the Woodmons. We got, so this is Spicy Tech. We do have Horn Buster Spicy Tech. We got the Mimi. We got the Lilymon. Uh, we do got Dimension Scissors. We got Titamons, Grand Kuwagas, Cherrymon. And then there's the place of the Agumons. I was looking for that. And then another Tanamon because it's a good egg. And then we got some um, not too commonly used green cards here, but they're there in case we want to get spicy with here. Okay. So I guess now we got we got 11 people here. Thanks for coming to the stream, everyone. So I think it's a good time to actually start building with this whole mess. So we have a, access to a wide variety of green cards, a wide pool. And um, well, a lot of the good ones here, we basically have access to most of everything in 1.5 that isn't a super rare. But um, I think Sarasmon's the only super rare we've been running from 1.5 in green. Uh, I have a flower cannon, actually. Where is my flower cannon? I know you guys are looking to that list and probably like, wait, 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 Tasty, where's, where's the flower cannon? Uh, where is my flower cannon? Oh, we got the Terra Cluster. That's some good removal to consider for sure. Yeah, there's the uh, Flower Cannon. There's another Mushroom on. I had another Terra Cluster. I think it's in my room right now. I don't want to get up and uh, get some stream downtime now. So let's see. What's going on? Chat, guys. Sorry. Uh, Gargomon is pretty awesome with his machine gun hands. Yeah, that's the coolest part. Gargomon is like the best design Digimon in history. Uh, IMBK says, Bunny synergies are important. Yes, but if I'm running Terramon, I got to run Lopmon. Okay, you're right, Bryce. Donkey Nog, what other Digimon has pants? Gargomon OP. True, Wergaruman has pants. But see, that just means all dogs and buddies wear pants. Is Leomon a joke to you? Oh, duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leomon also. A, isn't it weird? Why do so many Digimon wear pants? What is with Digimon designers and giving them pants? Kokuwagamon is a fun to run as a two-off for Spice because green is so efficient. Yeah, Kokuwagamon, yeah, for sure. It's definitely a spicy tech. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah, I know Leomon's a joke. CP stuff and stuff. Yo, what's up, CP stuff and stuff? Actually, yeah, that reminds me. Um, I do have a card coming in the mail. Um, it's not here, but for my only one deck, I think CP stuff and stuff. You're um Hikaru, right? On um on Discord, I think uh pretty sure I ordered the only one off you. So shout out to my boy Hikaru. He uh got me um he sold me his only one so that I needed for my deck. Cause right now I only have one Ultra S and one um regular only. And it's a it's a 1.5 red deck, so like that's kind of uh that's pretty low. I need to up that Omni count. So now I got two Omnis and one Alter S. It's a lot more favorable at least. So with mass shout outs to you. Thanks, bro, for that. Now I got two. Thank you. He's a joke to Bandai too. Yeah, Shadow, he's a joke to Bandai. I'm really hoping he survives the new Digimon season. Uh yes, sir. Pants chat? Is this a pants chat now, Bryce? What have you done? You got the furries coming in here? This is the pants chat, I guess now. Jeans for life. You, you always notice that? It's always wearing jeans. Where are the shorts in Digimon? Uh, okay, so yeah, let's, we got 14 people. We got 13 people in here now. Awesome. We could let's definitely start building now. So that's the uh, we playing in Peodramon Green. What's up, Manuel Mendes? Peodramon Green. So I definitely do have in Peodramon. So we could, if we want to, we could actually end up building a uh, green base in Peodramon deck. That'd be pretty spicy. But um, right now, what I'm doing is we're just building a really budget green deck with all these tools that we got here. Because yeah, I do have the tools. I got the, the place out of Dino Beast. I got the place out of Peodramons. What else do you need? Peodramon. So we could do a green base. I'll have to do a deck profile on that because I actually wasn't planning to. That, that was not the plan of this stream, but that's another great um, deck profile to do for sure. I should definitely do that as well. Do it, CP stuff and stuff. I have cleaning and work to do. Thanks for the shout out. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I like tossing streams on in the background even if I can't watch, just something to, to have to listen to while I'm um, doing stuff. Okay, so right now, let's go ahead and start building. I say we start with the eggs. So we're gonna go with a um, green budget deck. So I'm gonna go with a green aggro. Let's say we're gonna go green mid range because we do got the um, Mega Gargomons. So I feel like the best way personally to start with deck building in um, Digimon is with your Megas because in this game, your Megas are constantly your win con, your win condition. It's always gonna be the main thing you're building up to is gonna be those level sixes. So you want to decide what you want to support with the cards that you're building with your deck. So first of all, because it's gonna be a budget deck, I say uh, we're going to do 
Uh, Mega Gargomon's going to be in here for a control aspect. And I actually want to do, um, where is Argomon level 6? He's over here. I want to focus on Argomon level 6. We got two of them. So I, I would say, I'm going to do a toolbox mid-range angle deck. So I would go, we're going to probably go three Mega Gargos, two uh, Argos, and two Banchos to give us a total of seven Megas. I like that. Because I don't like getting too high on my Mega count. Because um, you start seeing them too early and you brick really hard, especially since a lot of Megas, because you're encouraged to evolve to them, have Wind Digivolve effects, so you miss out on a lot by having to hard cast them. So yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and start with that. So let's go ahead and say, yeah, let's do this Mega Gargamon. It's going to be our first choice. We're going to run three of him. So let's see if we could, uh, maybe I should have laid it all out like this so we could actually start neatly placing everything together. So let's go ahead and start by um, getting rid of everything we know for a fact we're not going to be running in this deck. So right now, right away, let me get rid of Puppet Pummel. We do not need Puppet Pummel. That card is not good. Excuse me. We're absolutely not going to be running Ken because this card is just way too situational for what it does. For a cost of four, uh, it's just too much. I get if you paired it with Stingmon, like if you were running both, you would get a lot of memory. In, in like, green and Pyro Trumps, it could definitely be good, but um, it's just too expensive for what it does, and you're hoping to see it out of security half the time, so I personally do not like this card. I'll just immediately uh, we'll get rid of this. We're not going to be running a new world. We're not going to be running Cherry Blast because we don't really need that too badly for the uh, rookie matchup. Oh, Rookie Rush is one of Green's absolute worst matchups. So really, I do not blame anyone for wanting to run this as a tech choice, but you are sacrificing the consistency of the rest of your deck. Let's see, Mint Speed, let's stack them by levels. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing um, once I actually lay them out and um, start making my choices and stuff. Uh, Break. start by adding four Lotmon, the secret tech. Level 656. Six. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go in order. Davis for the search. Yeah, Davis for the search would be tempting. Uh, we do have those Davis this year that we could add into the deck. So we do get this memory setting effect. You get to search uh, to get a green card. Davis would definitely be a spicy choice. We're going to have to consider that for sure. Let's see. Shadow Jarek says, yeah, hard casting Megas blows. Had a game where me and my opponent bricked so hard, we kept hard playing Megas. <laughs> At least it's less worse when it's um, both of you guys because at least it feels even. That's pretty funny. Man, uh, I'm just noticing right now how much this uh, shakes. Because like I am using like a five dollar stand gripped onto my um, desktop, so it's really unfortunate that it uh, causes the slightest movement will cause so much shaking of the um, screen. Oh, do we have more than a playset? One, two, three, four, five. We actually have five Aurora ones. That's really nice. Uh, so this is a maybe. We might actually run this just because the hard cast of five K is insane. So even though it's not a rookie rush hunter build. Um, if you're looking for something to just fill up your list because you don't know what else to run, uh, a Rurumon could definitely be something you just toss in there. Just hard cast this on turns so for your opponent gives you too much memory or something. Get rid of that. Uh, Positron. Probably can get rid of this for now. Let's just clear up some space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Grand Kulagos probably won't run these. If it wasn't four, we would run it. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Um, Okay, let's throw in the HPDs out the way. Okay, let me just stack everything so it's a little more neatly, and then we'll get to the deck building. Cool one goes in the one play no stack. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, fire cannon. All right, I'll just get these out the way so we can neatly organize everything and start going through them. Let's see what's going on in chat. Mint B, yep, I vote we clear space and stack the cards we're considering by level. Then we could go through stage and put the cut. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's start stacking these bad boys out of the way. There's too much on screen right now, too much to work with. Uh, keep those megas together, keep the champions together. Let's keep these cover terries together. All right, this is the 1.0 stuff. Download champion, whatever. Then we got the Mimi, we got the fly mons. We won't be running those, so let's just set that aside because security mons are just like meme cards, basically. Hornbuster is, uh, I know in Japan, people like Hornbuster as a nice tech. We'll see if we end up running it. Okay, cool, so we got everything cleared up now. Let's go ahead and start with the deck building. So as uh, uh, we started out, 
we're going to do Mega Gargomon as uh, one of our first Megas we're running. Because Mega Gargomon, it's uh, when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, and it doesn't suspend during your opponent's next on suspend phase. And then your turn, if your opponent has to suspend a Digimon uh, in play, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So Mega Gargomon is great uh, as a mid-range option because it offers control and it offers uh, aggression and security attack plus one. So that's a very fantastic uh, card that condenses rolls into one uh, space. So I'm going to be running three of that because the thing is, this card is good, which is why it's costed at four. That is really expensive though, because your memory tamer sets you only to three. And most people want to play around that and leave you just at that. So I don't want to max this out. I want to kind of make our Megas a toolbox in this deck because of that. But it is a great card, so I, I'm gonna, and I do want to see it, is the thing. Eventually, I want to be able to draw into it, so I think 3 is the sweet spot for that. Let's go ahead and put that up here. Hopefully, you guys can see that all right. We're going to be running 3 Mega Gargos for its control option and for its aggression. And let's go for um, next Megas. Mint B, nice. Nice, I like it. He's not played much anymore, but it's a good time for budget runs. 3 feels nice. Yeah, I'm surprised Mega Gargos have run. I get that it's um, hit by the... Um, by the um, uh, ban list or whatever, it hurts missing HPD. But with um, your memory tamers, you start off at three. So if your opponent doesn't have theirs out, just paying the four cost puts them at one. Uh, they can't swing with their big guy. You get the free check next turn, or you have something to remove it next turn, etc., etc. I think it's still a great card. Uh, next up, uh, let's say we're, I'm saying we're running two Bench of Stings. Bench Sting is amazing because it has piercing and when attacking, if an opponent's Digimon has 12,000 DP or more, this Digimon gets plus 7,000 DP and a security attack plus 2. So that puts it at 16k, making it safe from everything in security currently in the game. Bryce says, Bunny. <laughs> I got to find lot mods. I think I actually do not have any lot mods because, I, like I said, I didn't buy 1.5 um, packs or anything, just singles. I don't think I have lot mods. But, uh, oh, sorry, it's shaking so much, guys. I got to be careful with the shaking. Okay, yeah, but two batches of Steam Mons, this card's great removal. Your opponent gets out an Omi Mon, just uh, swing into it. And, and if, even if it's something else, like say, um, what's the 12 cost? I think um, Perodramon is 12k, right? Naturally. So you can just swing at that too. There's a lot of things to set it live. Now, uh, this is definitely a tech card. You do not max this out in any circumstance. Uh, I mean, unless the meta really calls for it, I guess. But because, uh, um, because look, it's only 9k. So once you swing, it's vulnerable on itself. So even if you do get the effect off, and you do get to remove something within against security. If you're not getting game that turn, you have to swing with this wisely because it will get removed next turn. All that digivolving and investment you put into it will get destroyed. If your opponent has even one more stack on the field or like a champion or something like that, so you got to be careful. Shadow Shirk says, Bancho has such a cool ability. It does. Guitar Bro says, I love you. Thank you, Guitar Bro. Bryce says, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't got the lops. Kills Omni. Card good. Exactly. <laughs> no, yes, caveman. Card fire good. It good. But yeah, I, I just wouldn't max out on it because, like, it's, like I said, it's situational. Bancho is a glass cannon. Yep, Bancho is absolutely a glass cannon, which is why... Um, the, the thing is, I'm not running only one because this is a tech card. I think in most other games, in Pokemon, you would absolutely run this at one. But the thing is, um, in Digimon, because of the way security works and uh, because of uh, the way we draw and stuff with Digivolution, I feel like if you want to run a tech card, you have to run it minimum at two if you ever want to see it. In a 50-card deck where it can sometimes get lost in security, you, you have to run more than one. Because Pokemon, like, um, you at least have something like Professor's Research to draw seven cards every turn. For this, so I think uh, two is a sweet spot for Bancho Sting because of that, keeping all that in mind. So that is two Bancho Stings we're going to be running there. Guitar Bro, how many Stingmon you play? Stingmon. Uh, just regular Stingmon? Uh, we'll get to the, we'll see when we get to Champions because we're building this live right now. So we want this to be a mid-range control deck right now. So uh, mid-range control... Mid-range, just mid-range, yeah, because it's going to control and aggro. Absolutely true. I feel like when we tech in Digikai, we should run two. Yeah, definitely two if you actually want to see it. So um, we are going to have a lot of download in this deck. So I also want to run uh, two Argomon right now. Because, see, right now right now with Bench of Sting and Mega Gargo, we have um, only five Megas. So you probably you will not see it too fast right away uh, with those ratios. So I want to up that a bit more. So let's go up to seven. Uh, so this is three, five, seven with uh, Argomon. I think it's a pretty healthy number. Breaks. Why no Lilithmon in the deck? <laughs> Lilithmon purple. Shadow Jerk and Pokemon, your security goes to hand. Yeah, true. So it's uh, less, feels bad when it gets locked in security. But yeah, uh, I do plan uh, to see a lot of download in this deck to be able to get up fast. Because if we're going to have expensive top ends, we should at least try and have some um, cheap uh, low ends. 
And the download straight up lets us have free low ends. Mint B says this level six lineup looks good. Yeah, I like it right now. Just two of this, because I think this deck is this card is still really good. It can still really steal away games. You just gotta know uh when to use it because a lot of people will um uh swing with their other stuff first, and I get that to rest it. Because th this thing needs this other did you want to be rested to get the security attack plus ones? But a lot of times they'll end up just dying to security. So what you should be doing is um using your uh, download effects on all the, on your other Digimon on the way up to Argolon and then swing that turn, hopefully. Play the purple green level five, add a Lilith. Purple green level five, is that Arukunemon? <laughs> yeah, then we could add Lilith, that's pretty funny. I don't think I have, unfortunately, the Arukunemon. But yeah, it's Digisorption minus three, so if you rest something, this thing only costs two to down to Digivolve into. And then for each of your suspended Digimon, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So yeah, like with how fast um, green can cheat out cards, um, with all the two costs that we have too, this uh, racks up to a bunch of security checks very quickly, and it's quite insane. So I do like Argomon just a two of to go along with the rest of this deck of the aggro theme. Because then you got Mega Gargoyle, you can stall out for turn while you digivolve your uh, uh, download. Is it download or digisorption? While you digisorption your next stack. Whack. <laughs> Bryce says whack. Okay, so that's going to be our Mega lineup. we got seven Megas. I think that's nice and healthy. So do you guys want to... So I think uh, usually that uh, going um, starting at Megas is what I usually do because you want to start with your Wincon. But after that, I usually find myself going backwards and actually starting at the Rookie lineup because that's, that's like your whole base. And I feel like your uh, Rookie lineup um, ties into your um, Mega lineup a lot through its Inheritables and through the play cost. So let's just go ahead and go backwards. Let's work our way backwards anyway since we already started at Megas. So yeah. So this is the big deal, right? This is the big thing for um, green, is that your um, ultimates have now been hit because you don't have the um, Argomon level five at four anymore. You can only run it at one. But the fact of the matter is that it is still at one. So, I mean, as long as that card, well, I'm sorry guys, no more shaking it. Cool, let's do it. Okay, so as long as that card is at one, there is no reason not to run it. So let's go ahead and get those. Where are our, are they at the bottom? All right, so we got that one Argomon. Mint B, do we want to do eggs before rookies? Yeah, I think once we get, um, I think eggs don't really, uh, let's just see, let's see. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Or should eggs wait till the end? I feel eggs, you just kind of tack on at the last minute, because a lot of the times people don't even run all four of their eggs, it's just for the fifth drop power, you know? So, um, yeah, let's just do eggs at, eggs at the end. Bryce says, Rapid Mon bunnies. Rapid Mon is a bunny. We do got the bunnies. We got the bunnies. Oh no. Well, my, hopefully the stream's still going. It's lagging on my end. Okay, cool. Eggs last. I said let's save eggs for last. So we're definitely running the one Argomon. Because this thing's crazy. It's Digi's option to, to Digivolve for free. And it's inheritable. So when attacking, you may play one level three green Digimon card from your hand, suspended without paying its memory cost. So not only do you go wide, you also set up Argomon's um, LTK uh, with a security effect. So this card is amazing. There was a reason it was limited. So definitely still running that one copy of it. And then we run four Blossomon absolutely for the same reason we run Argomon. It is a Digisorption 3. This is uh, literally a free ultimate. It's insane. There's a reason one of these had to be limited. Obviously, the one with the better security inheritable effect is going to be limited. But like with both of these at four, there was like no reason to ever diversify your um, ultimate lineup in green. At best, you would run one tech option as your ninth ultimate if you wanted that consistency. So yeah, I understand the hit completely. So yeah, but we are going to run Blossomon because yeah, it is still a free um, Digisorption, minus three. It's a goal into it for free. So that is a huge advantage which you Digivolve up very quickly. So that is a fantastic card for that. So that's pretty self-explanatory. We are going to be still running that card. So that is only five ultimates, however. One, two, three, four, five. So we still have room for three more and uh, really a fourth more if you want to run nine for that consistency. Uh, I would say we run... Look, hmm. So what do you guys think? Do you want to run 8 or 9 ultimates in green? I feel like green, uh, you really don't want to brick, so you want to make your ratios as generous before getting into bricky, hand-clogging um, ratios. So I would say we're going to go with 9 ultimates, because I know before the standard used to be 8. It looks like it's moving up to be 9. But I think for this text, since you always want to be digivolving up, we're going to go with 9 here. So there's a couple of ways we could go about doing this. Yeah, I'm going to go with 9. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you guys like 8 or 9? Let's see what we decide on. We've got 15 people in here. Welcome, everyone that just joined. Thank you so much for joining in our live deck building session. We're building budget green. Uh, tw everything you'll see here today, $20. So that's a uh, very budget green. It can still compete because green is just insane as a color on itself because of its mechanics. So, you know, DG's option. Let's see. Mint B. Will we run Dino Beamon for mid-range tech? 
See, that Vimon is really a uh, smart side because I like that suggestion a lot. Because coupled with um with the flower cannon that we also have in here, that lets us beat through a lot of um ultimates and stop them from digi going up. So this is what I was planning to do. So this was my original idea here. So I was thinking. I actually like your idea a lot, so let's definitely look into that. But hold on, let me just grab what I was gonna I had in mind, and then we'll see what we go with. Where is my other Rapidmon? He got lost in that shuffle where we're putting everything together, it looks like. Oh wow, it's right at the top, all that shuffle for everything. So I was thinking either three um Rapidmons. No, no, no. I was thinking either um four Rapidmons for a total of nine ultimates. Or three Rapidmons. And a Cherrymon for that blocker. And now we also got that new suggestion of uh, Dino Beamon, which I do like a lot for the mid-range aspect and the control because you could uh, fire cannon this stuff and stop a mid-range. For green, Prob 9. Yeah, I like that guitar overall. Uh, let's go with that. Rookie Rush is still a thing too. True, because then you can beat over those two and remove their bodies while still checking their security, so that's fantastic too. So yeah, so this was uh, one of the three possibilities I was thinking. We could either run four Rapid Mons if you really want to increase the DP on your top end so that Argomon or, or Argomon that just don't die to, to um, high DP Mons like Lonely Mon. Or you could run three of that and one Cherry Mon um, so you could have more blockers, uh, which again, like you said, useful in the Rookie Rush matchup. Because, um, especially Cherry Mon in this situation, I feel like, because with the blockers in Rookie Rush, a lot of them will run the one cost vanillas that are 6k, like Gorilla Mon and Darth Tyrannomon, so they will trade with your blockers. But this way, um, they can't trade with your blockers because blue doesn't have the DP boosting on their rookies or eggs, etc. etc. Because Cherry Mon is 7k, so any vanilla ultimate will trade with them now. So you can maybe even do like 2 2 if you really wanted to, if, you, if that's a real concern to you. I like that. And then the other possibility, which. Um, Mint B introduced was that we run a uh, Dino B. So this would be um, maybe three Dino Bs, one Cherry Mon, or one Rapid Mon, or four Dino Bs entirely. So I do have the playset of Dino Bs. Uh, it's just not on me right now. It's in my room, so I could get up. Um, but uh, yeah. Do we drop a Blossom on, or is the download too potent? Uh, for sure, I feel the download is too important. Uh, way too important. Oh, you should definitely be willing to play with your rations and stuff, so it's up to you. I definitely feel you could afford to like drop one Blossom on if you really want to, but the fact that you could go up so fast and quickly into your top end uh, is crucial. So I would say, um, I would, for now, I definitely want to keep the Blossom on ratios and the Argomon ratios. Also, is two Cherry Mon a thing? Not really. Usually you just use it as a one to top off your um, ninth ultimate, because Cherry Mon is a two five player, which I see why. Once you're investing so much into an ultimate, you don't really want to risk losing it just to blocking it away. So I, I get why Cherry Mon's not popular. So yeah, since this is Mirror's Control, I'm going to get removing stuff and stuff. I think Dino B is a fantastic just suggestion, and that's what we should go with. So we could do three Dino Bs, and let's say one Rapid Mon, just because that Inheritable is really good. So let's go ahead and settle on that for our um, ultimate lineup. So that's going to be three Blossomons, one Argomon, three Dino Beamons. I could go and get them with you guys, but then I have to like leave the room for a bit while I get the stuff, so she will be dying down for a bit. But um, they're just in the other room. And then one Rapidmon. Mm -hmm. So that is currently uh, our ultimate lineup for a total of nine ultimates. Okay, so yeah, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're at nine ultimates right now with three Dino Bs. So that uh, rounds up our Megas and our ultimates. Let's see, Mint B says, we could go down to two or one Dino B. Our ratios might change as our deck unfolds. Definitely, once we decide what else we want to be running this deck, uh, I definitely think we should play with the upper and lower ratios too, on what we decide right now. Because, yeah, Dino B is still a three cost of Digivolve into in a color that typically wants to download as cheap as possible. So that is a hefty cost to pay for um, for um, green for sure. So, yeah, maybe we can go down to two Dino Bs or even just one. Maybe it could be the one we rounded out with. So, yeah, we can go down to two. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, let's go ahead and go into our champions now. So champions are pretty interesting because... We do have that download Argomon, which we kind of want to see um, for um, for level 6 Argomon so that you have more options to rest stuff. 
Uh, let's see, Minty B. I don't want us to miss out on DP on our top end if we drop Rapidmon too low. Yeah, that's true. Rapidmon's pretty good for that boost. Um, but the thing with this one is that it's easily the worst out of all the, the, the Digisorption characters. Because um, if you don't Digisorb, it is two costs of Digivolve into when Green has tons of one cost Digivolve champions to go into instead. So it feels really, really bad when you um, do that. And you have to just go into it uh, straight away. And then also, you don't have many bodies out, out on board early game. So like if you want to use this right away, you would have to like Digivolve for free into your um, champion. Or yeah, Digivolve for free into your rookie and then hard cast another two cost rookie, hoping you even see, you know, another two cost rookie in your hand. Uh, let's see, Guitar Bro says, what's your main deck right now? Also, love your vids. You're the one that really got me to the Digimon. I'll forever be grateful to you. Thank you so much, Guitar Bro. That is awesome. Right now, my main deck is all red because I love the color. It's just so fun. You just did you all up fast and um, attack really quickly. And then um, after that, but uh, I finally finished my building my Imperial deck. So I'm going to be testing Imperial a lot. And then seeing how that goes, that might become my new main. But for now, it's uh, red Onimon is my main deck. Shadow Jerk says Gargomon. And then Taste of Victory mains Spice. Yeah, Gargoyle has the spice. Well, I'm trying to find it. But yeah, uh, so this, right, where we're talking about this card. Yeah, because there's a lot of drawbacks to being a Digisorption this early in the game. So I would only run this at two, I say. Because we do want to see more Digisorptions, but like this thing really messes with your, your uh, uh, game plan as green of wanting to do it really cheaply. So let's go ahead and start famous one cost champions for uh that uh green has so we got terry mons with the gift the dp boost we got gargomon as an option too with the exact same effect except that has 4k dp and then we have um who are the champions we got the two cost blockers that we could possibly run uh we got vegemon which is fantastic because the, if you in case you brick with Vegemon, you can hard cast because it's a champion for only four cost to play. And yet it has 6,000 DP, so that's really amazing. I do like that about it. And then we have two Woodmons. Um, ideally, we should run four, but apparently I only have two in my boxes that I pulled, so that's unfortunate. And I think this is probably the uh, best lineup that we have of uh, champions in green, of stuff that we actually want to run. So I'm deciding on 12 uh, champions. I literally never play with my... Um, champion lineup actually it is always 12 man i hope this isn't as blurry um for you guys as it looks on my end because like right now it is super blurry hopefully that's all the wi-fi corrects itself soon since we aren't stressmon i say we don't need to run too many level four argo honestly i i think we probably don't need to run it at all i would say because the one cost are just as cheap so yeah especially since we're not yeah like you said we're not using that download target to um Target our opponents. Yeah, we can probably afford to cut it entirely. Let me see if there's any other good champions here we could run. Where's Stingmon? For some reason, I don't see my Stingmon. Oh, because he's over here. Oh, this is a pile of things we're not running. Where is Stingmon? Hopefully, the stream isn't too blurry, guys. Do let me know in chat, because um, that's definitely a Wi Fi issue, unfortunately. So, we got those three Stingmons. Okay, so that's cool. So Stingmon's uh, inheritable effect is once per turn wins, Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon by battle. Uh, let's see. I'm here for that. Let's drop level 4 Argo then. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Let's drop level 4 Argo then. Really hope this isn't too blurry because it looks terrible here. Is there a way to focus? Unfortunately, I think that's just the quality. But anyways, um, so Stingmon, yeah. Inheritable, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, gain one memory. So because of Green's um, cheap Digivolutions and stuff, uh, I don't know how crucial this really is or how necessary it is because Green already has a lot of ways to cheat stuff out. And if we have a memory tamer anyways, we're gonna be able to, um, we're gonna be able to uh, make a lot of plays with the memory that we have. So I wouldn't say Stingmon is too crucial, but uh, like we were saying with Rapidmon, I do want our stuff to have high DP so that it doesn't die in security checks that often. So I'm gonna say four Kabuterimon uh, right off the bat, four copies of Terriermon. Probably for the theme of us, since it's the Terriermon channel, let's go ahead and um, we'll decide to fix itself. I'll go ahead and run Gargomon, four of it. So there is a um, argument for using Kabuterimon over Gargomon because the the five K DP does let it dodge some destruction effects 
But um, this is just a fun budget deck. So for the themes of our channel, let's go ahead and start with four Gargomon. Cameron Quality returned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it seems like it's a Wi-Fi issue. That's really unfortunate. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so yeah, we got the four Gargomon. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to run 12 um, champions. So I say we got the four Gargomon. So what we could do is we could run both. We could run four, a full playset of each for a total of eight. Because this way you always end up seeing uh, ADP boost in general. So you don't have to worry about being vanilla, etc., etc. So you can always uh, see that. Oh, yeah. And then, um, so that's one option. Then we got the Vegemon. Again, I like Vegemon a lot because um, if you brick, you can hard cast it and it doesn't feel as bad if you have to and it just evolve into your ultimate. And if not, it's still a one cost champion. I don't think we need to max out on it though, necessarily. So I'm thinking uh, Veggie at two would be good in the backup scenario of a brick or not. And then let's see, what are the champions do we have access to here, guys? Let's see, let me look at our 1.0 stack. Do we have anything different here? We have Kuwagamon, but Kuwagamon isn't very good. It's just hard cast to suspend the Digimon. Do you think we want to run our two cost blockers in this? Yeah, I think so. I think two cost blockers would be fine in this deck still because it still offers you um, some defensive options in case you're not drawing into what you need right away. Uh, you, you get your security protected a bit there. And if, uh, can, if you run into the um, Rookie Rush matchup, they are like things they cannot run over unless they have uh, those champions or let's stop the fighting in hand. Or are we going to skip blockers altogether? I'm liking blockers. I say two would probably be the right amount in this deck. Uh, since we want to just get you all up as fast as possible. Uh, let's, so let's do that. So let's go four Gargomon, two Veggie, two Blockers for a total of eight champions. And then from here, we could either double down on the effect or we could um, add some Stingmons, maybe a Downloader. Maybe we can even run more Veggies. So right now we're at eight. So kind of what I want to do is I do like the DP boosting a lot, the effect. And I do want to see it often. So what I'm thinking is we could run at least two copies here, Yvonne, because you don't want to see too much of it. Because like regardless, it is a um, regardless, it is a um, one cost of the G-Ball champion, which is fantastic and a great effect. So I might as well run it. Right, right. Even though it's budget, I don't want us to eat dirt versus rookie rush variants. Mid B says, yeah, definitely. Want to have a winnable rookie rush matchup. We want to have options against it for sure because Green doesn't have much else. Uh, to stop rookie rush. So I'm thinking that. I'm thinking maybe two Stingmon. So this is where we could, we could either run two Stingmon or two of the download Argomon. But again, uh, I don't really think download Argomon is not very necessary if you're not going to run Seresmon anyways. But, um, so I'm thinking two Stingmon, two uh, Kabuterimon, because that rounds out to four, eight, twelve, uh, the ideal ratio. Stingmon, uh, in some situations, would be able to allow us to facilitate some plays. Because let's say we have a memory tamer out and we have three memory, uh, we just need one more to go into like Mega Gargomon or something. Maybe we could um, attack over something somehow with the flower can, or not the flower can, but somehow attack over something and get that extra memory that way. That could be an option. This looks pretty good. Yeah, thanks. I'm liking this for two. So yeah, I'm liking that. So yeah, Gargomon uh, effect is amazing. So might as well run as much as we can of it without um, getting oversaturated. Woodmon, because blockers are good for stalling, uh, good for protecting security, and helps us in the Rookie Rush matchup. Vegemon is an amazing card for that four cost and play one cost Digivolve and still being 6k DP despite of that. And then Stingmon, um, nice little option to round out the um, champion lineup just so we have that utility if we so desire it, if we need that extra memory. So let's go ahead and add that to our nice little stack here. So we got four Gargomons. Uh, let's go this way. Two champions, Kabuterimon, two Woodmon, two Vegemons, and then two Stingmon for a total of 12 champions. All right, so now we're getting to, um, down to the rookies. So yeah, champions. So now we get to the exciting part. I love rookies because you just get to splash so many of these in. All right, so green always wants to Digivolve, and then we got so many two-cost um, Digimon we could play in this too. So I say we're definitely going to go generous. I know the absolute minimum, Mint B says, LL, what are those level 4 Argomon doing up there? <laughs> what are they doing up there? Wait, why is he in here? Was that just there? I thought this was Kabuterimon. That's so funny. At a glance, I could see how that mistake happens. I thought this was a Kabuterimon. That's really funny. Okay. So we got um the minimum anyone will tell you to run. That's what I was thinking. Oh yeah, how they sneak in there. But um yeah, the minimum anyone tells you to run for um for rookies is 12. And the upper most I see people running successfully is 16. I have run 16 myself. I don't know if you want to go all the way up to 16. I'm thinking somewhere between 13 to 14 is going to be our sweet spot. 
because you don't want to run. You absolutely want the draws every time on that opening turn in green. You want to be able to digivolve up. You want to be able to choke them with the one memory digivolution. So you want to see those rookies turn one. So I'm thinking uh, maybe 13 to 14 rookies, I think is going to be our sweet spot for sure. And then first and foremost, I think this is, uh, actually, let's just go ahead and get our options out. So we got Argumon, which is, uh, I think everyone, we're, I think we're all going to agree pretty decisively that Argumon's definitely going to be a four of in this deck eventually, uh, or once we're done deciding. I mean, we got Goblimon. Where is my fourth Goblimon? Actually, where is my fourth Goblimon? <laughs> is he not in this deck? He's in the 1.0 stack. Oh, do I not have a fourth Goblin Mon, actually? He might be in my other room. Okay. Yeah, he might be in the other room. I don't want to go... I don't want to get up and leave the stream all quiet for a bit, so let's we'll just go ahead and um, know that we'll be running four Goblins as an option. So, yeah. Let's see. Agumon always makes it in. Most rookies... My rookies are mostly 14. I think 14 is a very good sweet spot, uh, Shadow Jarek. I agree. So, we have the option of four of that... Oh, there it is. What, what am I thinking? There's my guy. Uh, we got the option of four Argomons. We got two more mons here. This could, there could be an option. Two more mons is all I have. We have the option of four Terrier mons. Option of four Kuni mons. And then we do have some Kukua mons. That is certainly an option. And we got Mushroom mons. If we're running Rookie Rush, we have Tentamon. So I think Tentamon... In this current meta, with how popular 1.5 is, I think um, Tentamon is a little bit of an underrated uh, card. Because you can it's inheritable to suspend all your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 TP or less. So like if they're not swinging, they're trying to just set up um, for OTK in one turn, you can now rest them and start removing their boards with your other stack. So it's definitely a nice little tech option. I don't know if we want to design this for Rookie Rush hate that hard. Because I feel there is still a stigma against it, even in English. So I feel like mostly in my testing, I almost exclusively run up against Shine Greymon and uh, Red Onimon. So I don't want to gear our deck too hard towards Rookie Rush, lest we end up making our other matchups worse. Shadow Jarek says, can we just put Agumon in every deck? Yeah, eventually. I bet you we're going to get purple and like black Agumons. Well, I guess we do have a black Agumon soon. In the Sire deck, he's a blocker. Mint B says, Terriermon is cool, but I don't think we can run it at four. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be the party pooper. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a matchup dependent uh, card for sure. I don't think we've got to run this at four. The art is so cute too. It's really unfortunate. And it's a really powerful effect. All turns, your opponents can't gain memory except with tamer effects. And considering we have such a bad matchup against um, red decks, especially Regnum Lordmon decks, this is very helpful. So I say we consider this, but definitely not a four. I'm agree with that. I think right now we don't want to gear our list too close towards uh, Rookie Rush. Let's go ahead and um, cut the Tentamon option now. Kukulamon, uh, again, this isn't the type of deck I feel like where it would be most effective. I say you would want to do that in uh, like a Piotrmon because of the piercing and stuff. So if we can go ahead and cut Kukulamon. Uh, we have a ton of two drop options already as it is. So we don't want to run one that has a one cost Digivolve. Since this isn't Rookie Rush, um, that one cost Digivolve of Rookie is really a big um, liability. Let's go ahead and cut that right away. Shadow Jarek says two Terriermon is probably good. I think two Terriermon will be good too. I agree with that because we do want something to have an answer to the uh, Ragnar run matchup. Uh, let's go ahead and cut Kunimon right now because it's just a vanilla 4K. So maybe in a Rookie Rush budget Rookie Rush build, but um, right now we have no need for that. Mint B says, I agree with the cut so far. Awesome, thanks. Good to hear that. So I think we're getting really close to what we basically want to run already here. We got four Agumon, so I think we're all in agreement. We've settled on four Agumon for sure. It's inheritable is this Digimon is plus 1,000 DP. Two Terriermon and two Tentamon. I like that, Yvonne. Two Tentamon, hmm? Yeah, because we uh, we don't want to gear too hard, but if we if we want to up the number past 12, so like 14, that's definitely, I think out of the ones we took out, definitely one of the best, better ones to consider. So let's see what we end up um, out of all this stuff. Shadow Jarek. Oh, that would cut out cut off Regnal Lormon's ability. Yeah, Terriermon, uh, we dropped Tentamon already. Sorry. Well, we can, we can see what we have um, left over to run. Because who knows, maybe it actually ends up being better. Let's definitely check for sure. But yeah, four Agumon, so plus 1,000 DP, um, unconditional, just plus 1,000 DP for existing. This card, a lot of colors would beg for this, this effect, and I can't believe the green is the one that gets something like this. This is such a red card ability. It's so funny. But yeah, then we got four Goblimon. So I think 
for Gavlimon, for Argomon, because you want things to be able to go wide, um, to be able to rest something else instead of the stack you're digivolving into and making that stack vulnerable. So with a bunch of the two costs, I think we would be able to um, do that more efficiently and more uh, often. But uh, let me know what you guys think, because I know a lot of people just run four, and that's it of the um, two costs play rookies. And usually they run like two goblies, two Argomon to avoid Omimon, you know? But I think we just max out on them to get that, make sure you uh, we up that rookie number to 12 right away, and we have those two costs. Because, I mean, what other inheritables do we have? We have Akulamon, we have Tentamon. Uh, definitely worth considering. Shadow Jarek says, oh, that would cut out oh, I was random robots ability. Yeah, that's right. You did say that earlier. Okay, so what are you guys thinking? Do we just max out? I'm thinking we just, normally in my deck building, I just max out the uh, two costs because they're really great to hard cast and go wide. And then we've got Terriamon. We decide on two Terriamon. It's good because in some matchups, it is straight up um, one of our best ways to um, stay in that grind game, like Ragnarorvon, for example. So that's a fantastic ability. Blue, uh, this will shut off their Hammer Spark, so that's really huge right now with the Pyrojomon starting to rise in possibility. We not bringing Aurarumon with us? Oh, actually, I totally forgot to bring that out. Thank you uh, for reminding me. Why was it not in the stack? Where are you, Aurarumon? Here we go. So that's another two-drop we could um, consider running. So, um... The two individual does hurt a lot more, a lot, than the one cost would from um, uh, from Kokuamon. But with 5k body just for dropping two two drops on board, that's uh, pretty crazy because it straight up avoids Volcanic Dramon. So like these guys would fall a uh, victim to that, but this one straight up avoids it. So it almost makes up for itself, you know, with the two cost did you all. If you don't just never did you all into it, just go ahead and hard cast it. But when it is your only rookie, oh boy, does it feel terrible. So let's see how what we end up deciding on them, guys. All right, so we got... Okay, so right now, for sure, let's go ahead and move these. We got, for sure, four Agumon. We got, for sure, two Terriermons. So we're, right now, we are at six. We got, for sure, four Goblimons. Now, do we want to run uh, the entire four Agumons? Because that would put us at how many right now? That would put us four, eight, 12, 14. So if we run this, um, maybe we do this to that, and then to a Rarumon to avoid Onimon possibility. Uh, and then there is Wormmon, you guys, you know. We have Wormmon as an option. On deletion, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one level four or level five Digimon card among them to your hand, and place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck. So this is good download fodder, you know, if you hard cast them, just uh, begging your opponent to swing into it to give us a free search, or you can just swing in Suicide into Security, that's another option too. Shadow Jerk, I don't think eight two cost rookies is bad. I just think having less of them in purple in purple is good just because the Pyramon, Hitmon, and Goblinmon are so good. That is true. Purple makes a lot they have a lot of great effects on their rookies in purple, so it's kind of hard to, to um fit all those two cost rookies in there. In green, I want to say it's a little bit easier. Mint B says, Do we want to consider dropping our level three Argomons down to zero to two? Because the name punish they share with our level four and level two of our megas. You know what? I think that's great. Yeah, that's a very important suggestion because like yeah, you could have your Mega out, and you could have a Rookie out, and boom, they're both gone because of Onimon, of the name share. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop uh, level 3 Argomon to only 2. Er, because if we want to max out on the 2 drops, um, I think we should at least still run it at 2 then, and then we can run like 2 Arorumons as our 2 drop. But the problem is, um, because now we have 4, 8, 12, 14, but out of those 14, only 2 of them were actually able to digivolve into. Purple has Night Rays, so Purple can hush. <laughs> yeah, Night Rays is amazing. Yeah, I don't know, because with how did you all focus this is, I don't really feel comfortable running a Rarumon. I say if we wanted to up it to 16 rookies is where we would run a Rarumon in these non-rookie rush decks. But I don't know if we need that money. I say depending on the amount of options and tamers that we end up wanting to run, we could come back to a Rarumon. But otherwise, our options are Tentamon. I don't really think even Rookie Rush. I just don't feel it coming up that much against Rookie Rush, I feel like. So I'm almost, almost kind of wanting um, Wormmon, actually, just so you could like, um, download with it, make it a sitting deck for your opponent, please give me a search. And if not, hey, I get another security attack next turn. That's fair. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I want to be able to do all the tour, guys. So let's see how many options we end up with. Let's cut the Arorumons. Definitely keep it in mind, however, though. And well... Yeah, because I do want to avoid the names situation, you're right. Mint B, let's take her out for now then, Araruman. 
Yeah, she'll be on hold. We'll see what we do with that. But I say out of uh, these that are left here, I say it would come down between um, Wormon and Tentamon. Hmm. Yeah, I say um, that Rookie Rush is shifting a lot to the four-cost rookies. Um, and the, um, what do you call them? The um, champions that are one-cost that they evolve into. So I see Tentamon being less useful going forward. We can also consider Tentamon again. Yeah. So I uh, would probably be a little bit less useful that way because they're shifting towards those um for um for considering all that you know considering the one cost champions and considering the 5k rookies and 4k rookies i think Tentamon becomes less and less useful so i think out of these i think Wormon is probably like the most synergetic with our um rest of our deck so i think i'm going to settle on him for our fourth or rather for our 14th rookies Wormon is good if you need to search yeah, I agree. And he searches more than just the champion on like Togemon, which is why I don't like Togemon. Togemon isn't even here. I'm not even considering it. Did I even pull Togemon to my boxes? I want to say I must have, but I guess I guess not. But either way, I would not even consider Togemon because I think uh, people do not consider how much Togemon buries things you actually do want to see. It will miss very often. And then um, the stuff you actually need to go to the bottom of your deck. I just don't like that card. Um, Vince B, the worm on fodder idea is cheeky and worried about the whiff, but it is a fun deck, so your call. Level four or five Digimon, yeah, that is the worry is the whiff, but you know, yeah, that's the worry. But it's also a good searcher, I think it'll look good. This looks good for now, yeah, I think this looks good for now. And we could definitely go back and change the rookies that we ended up deciding on for sure. Okay, guys, so what are we at right now? We're at 14 rookies. Uh, 26 with champions, 9, that is a 37, and then these are 7, right? So that is um, 44. We are at 44 cards total, buffering, flips table. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope I'm not lagging on stream, it's so unfortunate. Wow, this will be the stream for an hour now? It's so awesome. Thank you guys for everyone for sticking around for as long as you have. I really appreciate it. This is awesome and having a lot of fun building this deck with you guys. Four Agumon, four Agumon, two Agumon. Yeah, so I believe right now we're at 44 cards. Um, someone definitely correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. 44, I think I did the math right, 44. But math is hard, <laughs> so you never know. Okay, so um, let's see. Should we do options next, guys, and tamers, or should we go straight to eggs? I think we should just save eggs for later, and we could go into options and tamers right now. Okay. So I have actually traded away a lot of my flower cannons because um, boosters at four and five. I don't think we even run it, but um, so I do only have this one flower cannon right now. So I say as a toss in just to fill up our lineup. Yeah, we just toss in the one flower cannon. There's no harm in that. That's pretty simple. So that is 45 cards. I think it was on my end weird. Uh, so we got the 45 cards right now. And then uh, what is actually, what does a whole new world do guys? I never read this card. Main, if you have Mimi Tachikawa in play, you may play a Palmon from your hand without paying its memory cost to return one of your Mimi Tachikawa cards to its owner's hand. This card is so bad, why would you do that? <laughs> so, one HPD, that's a given too, because even at one, um, it's fantastic to see if we could use it on Mega Gargoyle or something like that. That's fine. Flower Cannons are the best investment at the moment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially because the new structure decks, we're getting them with the Booster Set 4, and the new structure deck has a new card, Needle Spray, which is, I per personally believe, a way better um, uh, Flower Cannon because it uses its effect and then adds itself to your hand in um, its security effects. So that card's insane. Yeah, Needle Spray's on its way. That's right, Mint B. That card's fantastic. All right, so we got two options. So I believe this is 46 cards right now. So is there any other options we want to run? Because we saw... We, the, we did have the Positron Laser, we did have the Cherry Blast, we did have a whole new world, we have Puppet Pummel. Not too many of these are actually that good. Positron is pretty good, because up to two of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn. And then, if you have a blue Digimon in, return, in play, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to its owner's hand. So the second effect, even in Rookie Rush, is really not that important. What you're well focusing on in Positron is the first effect. Up to two of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn, which usually in those kind of decks is just enough time to stall. So I don't know if this would be the same in um, this deck, but it's definitely something to consider. 
that we could potentially run Lethal Spray. Are there any options, are there other options here that we could possibly run? I do have Smash Potatoes. We could probably run that. <laughs> Decrease the Digivolution class by four. Smash Potatoes is way inferior to Hidden Potential because it's just so much more limited. We got Dimension Scissors. That's a really fun card. One of your opponent's Digimon gains the following effects for the turn. When his Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, unsuspend it. So that's very fun with like Rust Tyranomon and stuff like that, or like after a after a flower cannon or something. So that's certainly an option. We already did the Smash Potatoes meme. You're right, B, we already did. <laughs> and then do I have any other options? We have Giga Blaster. Uh, we have Forbidden Temptation. These two are not that good, so I'm just going to couple time right now. And I do believe we have the Horn Buster. I was uh, talking about that one as a spicy tech. So I actually do like Horn Buster because this lets you uh, beat over some of uh, Digimon. Like, you can beat over Omnimon with Titamon or if you were running that. And then suspend one of your opponent's Digimon in security. It's basically another Flower Cannon in security that also adds its owner's, to its owner's hand. So I actually do like Flower Horn Buster as a nice cheeky tech. Cool. And Shadow Jarek says... New Hope is so bad. Let me return my useful team to play a Palmon. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. It's really weird. If the effects were reversed, maybe it would be... Actually, I think if the effects were reversed, it might be broken, honestly, if the effects were reversed. But yeah, um, as it is now, New Hope, uh, New World is so bad. So yeah, um, options aren't really too crucial to any deck, so we don't have to go heavy on them. And we are at 46 cards right now, so we want to make some room for Tamers. So let's say, I don't know, what do you guys feel like? Do you think we need Positron? Do you think we need Horn Buster? I don't really think we need either. I think it'd be better to kind of start moving on to the Tamers. I'll consider, let's debate on the Positron because sometimes you just need that extra turn to swing. And since this is mid-range angle and you're trying to build up, uh, you might need that extra turn so your opponent can never respond to your stack. We'll see. You know, Positron is really tempting. I don't know about you guys, but it's really tempting to me. I say we set it aside as a two of. Because then also, if you reveal it in security, you do save yourself for that turn if they had lethal on board. We might not have enough memory for Puppet Pummel. Yeah, I agree, I agree. So this would put us at 48 right now. So we have room for two Tamers, potentially, or two more Digimon. So I think right away, one Mimi Tachikawa putting us at 49 cards. You can convince me otherwise, though, if you run some Tamers. One Mimi for sure. So this is um, maybe a hot take. For, I don't know. But personally, I have never liked Mimi. I think um, personally, <laughs> up until Booster Set 5, Mimi has been a trap because green as an entire color is all about momentum. And these Tamers cost four dudes. That is so much momentum to your opponent and give up in um, in green. Um, and they could really start running away with that depending on the opponent. And for what it does, like, yeah, it lets you turbo out faster. But oftentimes, it's going to be that extra draw, an extra draw that won't um, do you any good or, or maybe it does. The only time I actually have liked Mimi personally in my testing since the game was out in Japan was whenever I would see him in security. I would literally... Um, I would literally never hard cast it from my hand. It would always feel so bad because you either want to play out your hand first and then go into Mimi or whatever, or you just want to hard drop Mimi, taking up all your moments on that turn and giving your opponent like two memory, like minimum often is what they're going to put you at three if they put you at one. So, and that, that one turn with all that extra memory that you normally would never give them um, is what they need to run away with the game. So I think two max. There are a lot of new cards, a lot of new rookies that synergize with Mimi because you want to on the field right away. So I like Mimi a lot more in Booster Set 5, but until now, I just have not seen the necessity for that force uh, speedful draw off your eggs. Mint B says he's dropping some truths. Like, let's think about it. How often do you hear about green players complaining about being memory choked? Yeah, exactly. Like, I can work through that memory choke with all my one cost evolutions and my digi absorptions. Yeah, I don't mind it. So, like, the three cost memory is also not like. If any color, oh my gosh, this quality has gone to absolute poop on my side. I really hope it does not look that bad for you guys. I am so sorry. Gosh, the Wi-Fi will correct itself eventually, hopefully. I'm so sorry. But um, I mean, I was just talking right now anyways. Um, yeah, because a lot of, uh, of all the colors, green can absolutely play through the memory choke the best, most efficiently. 
So I feel like that set to three memory is also not as necessary. But since we are running Mega Cargo, I think putting it at one does not hurt whatsoever. So this puts us at 49 cards. Was that it? 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Oh, hey, old Potato Quality is back. No, that feels so bad. Digimon TCG 1.5 Green Deck Building Post Limitless. It bounced back fairly quickly last time. It looks like it's, it's, it's already a little bit better on my end, but not so HD. But, um... That's all right. Araruman. So, yeah. I, I like the one Mimi. Maybe I'll get another Mimi and we can run it at two. Just to help facilitate plays with Mega Gargomon and stuff. But we'll see. So we do have the HPD to facilitate Mega Gargoyle plays. And then we do have room for one more card. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Do we just run one more rookie? Do we run spicy tech? Etc. Etc. We do have. Oh, I did forget to mention this option. We do have the option of two nether clusters. I think only two is what I own. So considering that uh, green has absolutely no hard removal, like um, like Gaia Force, this is the best that we have towards removal. Shadow Jarek says, this is why you plug your stuff to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a Ethernet cable. I could just plug it to the wall instead of using the Wi Fi connection for the phone to stream. But yeah, I'm thinking one Terra Cluster to round out as our 50th card because um, once you swung with like only mine, the stuff might be some of our best options at removing it. And then, you know, if we get this on the security check on their turn, that's a lot more devastating too. So I'm thinking for the 50th card, Terra's Cluster looks fine, but I don't know. Do you guys, would you rather run a 15th rookie? Because then we can toss in the Ararumon and we have another, um, we have another um, two cost hard play rookie. Let's do a quick count. I think my math thing be off. Yeah, I wanted to count them too. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight. Looks like we're at forty eight, is that correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, yeah, we're at 48 cards. So we're actually, uh, two more open slots. We're actually at 48. Uh, so what else could we run? I don't really want to run any of these options at more than this because then it gets bricky. So I'm thinking we just run, I don't know, another rookie and then some other option. If I had, maybe Davis actually, like Guitar, I think it was Guitar Bro, they were suggesting the Davis for the search power. Could be something to consider for sure. Mint B says, do we bother with Davis or does he not matter at this point? The thing is, Davis could uh, bottom deck a lot of stuff since we're not running any blue Digimon. That's my main worry with it, even if it is a searcher. Because we'll only get to grab one card out of those three. Davis and another level three Argomon. Yeah, I agree with the level three over Rarumon because Digivolving is really important to me in this deck, seeing a, a rookie you could Digivolve into. So yeah, I think another... For a total of 15 rookies is fine. And then Davis, yeah, we could run the Davis to get that um, search off. Let me see, is there not anything else here? Okay, so we'll run the Davis. So Davis is in my other room, so I'll, I'll, we'll just say that he's the 50th card and I'll grab him on another time so I don't have um, a lot of dead stream time on the, dead air on the stream. So let's go ahead and get into the eggs then. All right, eggs. So let's see, our options are four of the level two Argomon, four of the Minomon. Minomon, when attacking, if one if you attack one of your opponent's Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP for the turn. So this plays into powering up our top end so we don't die to things that are big in security. 
Argomon, when his Digimon becomes unsuspended during a suspend phase, gain one memory. So that's pretty big. Um, if you just swing with something, it's a guaranteed one memory. So that can help facilitate Mythic Argomon plays. We have two Tanemons, which before 1.5 was um, Green's best egg. When attacking, if you Digimon this turn, Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP. So it's basically more conditional Minomon. I would rather have Minomon than um, Tanemon. But the thing with Tanemon is you can start swinging into security right away and not worry to get the boost, you know? And then we do have a Freemon. We might have two or three Freemons, actually, but it's so bad. It's like, I don't even want to dig for a Freemon. When your opponent has two or more suspended Digimon to play, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. So if you, were run to, if you were to run that in anything, it would probably be um, in, um, in a Ceresmon build, not in this. Let's see. Shadow Jerex of Davis and a leather level 3 Argomon. Okay, yes, yeah, so we settled on that. Cool, cool. So what's going on with you guys too, by the way? Everyone good? Everyone having some good time lately? Any suggestions for streams? You suggestions for videos? Plans for the weekend? I don't really have a lot of stuff planned. I keep forgetting to tell friends a plan that I have, so I'll have to do that after the stream. Fremont can get out. Sorry, Fremont. Oh no, Minty is so mean to Fremont. But yeah, we gotta get we gotta get rid of Fremont. It's not good. So then we got down to Tanamon and Argomon. So I'm thinking, honestly, um, so we could go four Minomon and then two Tanamon or, or one Tanamon so that we always have a plus DP. Or because I think that's how it usually comes down with, with egg building. I feel like you're usually just running um, uh, four and then one is usually just for that extra draw. You don't really mind too much what the fifth egg is since you're unlikely to see it anyways. So I'm thinking four Minomon, and then the real question comes down to, do we want to always have that DP boost, or do we want to get cheeky and sneak in an extra memory with Argomon? Because the thing is, if we don't have enough DP, we won't even survive to get that memory, you know? So what are you saying, chat? Shadow Jarek says, I'd go with Minomon in my opinion. Yeah, I think we're all in agreement. Minomon will be good for the fourth, uh, for the egg we run at four. And then Mint B says, it depends on whether we value the memory or the DP more. That is very true. So we do have a maybe Tachikawa, guys, and then we do have two Stingmons. So there's like two ways to look at this. You could look at this like we could get greedy, and we can pair these two, and you get two memory boosts at one turn, which could be pretty huge. Or you can look at it as that be um, a lot of overlap or too much of that, and we don't want to see that because we want to free up some space for our other memory boosting. Because the only other memory boosting is we have is um. Gargomon, because right now Dino B's at three. We can probably cut him down so we got more DP boosting and rapid mon. So yeah, I'm thinking Tiny Mon probably because I think at one Argomon's fine, but yeah. We can look how much download we're performing. Shout out Jarek, me running four eggs, not worrying about the extra draw. I think in a meta with Shine Greymon, you gotta consider the extra draw though, I feel like. Mint B, and that will tell us whether we consider the Argomon baby or not. Yeah, how much download are we running? Because we have um we got five right here. And then, is that it? We got two for a total of seven. Because we're not running the level fours. So, yeah, I think the DP boosting is probably more valuable. Um, just to make sure our stuff survives. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do four Minomon, uh, one Tanemon. So, I think that's what we're going to settle on. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. And then I know earlier we were suggesting if we do really want to run three Dino Bs because we want some of those inheritables from um, for the DP boosting. So I do agree with that. So I say let's cut down Dino B to um, two and run two Rapidmon instead so we have a more likely chance of seeing that DP boosting because uh, that way we get more mid-range control. We still have a control option with Dino B, but it is three cuts to Digivolve into, which is a lot more than this deck is used to going into. Shadow Derek says, I just kind of hate shuffling five cards. Yeah, I do. It's so annoying. Like, does it really matter? I gotta shuffle these. It's hard. Yeah. I feel like one of the two Dino Beasts is more comfy. Yeah, I agree. So I think I like that. So then here we go, guys. This is our list. We got one Terrace Cluster for the hard removal. I think any more is a little bit too bricky considering it costs seven and it's situational. Your opponent's Digimon one has to be suspended. So it already put in work. You know, you're already behind. We got the one Mimi because I just don't like it that much of a card, but it's a, it has its utility, I will not deny it, and it's a memory setter, always nice to have. 
two Positron because it's, um, it's like a mid-range aggro deck. So sometimes you really do just need that one more turn and that's it and you will win. And that does buy you that extra turn by suspending two, up to two of your opponent's Digimon. You don't care that you give them that memory because you win that next turn. One hit potential because it's hit potential. One flower cannon because it's flower cannon. Two Wormon, three Argomons, four Goblimons, two Reg, uh, two uh, Terriermons for the blue and red matchup, four Agumons, because why not? It's plus 1,000 DP for free. Two Stingmons, get that extra memory. Two Vegemons, in case of Bricking, you can hardcast it pretty cheaply, and it's a one cost Digivolve with 6k. That's unbelievable. Two Blockers, so we don't completely blow out the Rookie Rush matchup, I guess. Two Cometariumons, because that Inheritable DP blue seems amazing. Four Gargomon, because he's the cutest, most awesome, and he has a really good Inheritable. Two Rapidmon, we want more of that TP boosting. Two Dino Keys to be able to um, keep that mirror control aspect pretty early into the game. Then we got Argomon, because it's an Argomon, it's really good. Download, we got four Blossomon downloads. Two of the uh, Argomon, because I feel uh, just hardcast these things and download is still really good. And you don't even need to hardcast. Like if it survives the security check, it survives, and then you get the plus TP increase. Bancho Steamon, because he's Bancho, green is really popular. And then Gargomon is our level three to control our opponent's board, whatever they digivolve into. Three level six of Gargomon because uh, I placed into it nicely, but we're able to control and stun the board and also gain security attack plus one. Mint B says, Yeah, I don't want to be missing DP once we're at our top end. Yeah, because the worst feeling in the world is that if you die to a 12k Digimon, that is the worst. Because, like, two DP inheritables, I would have been able to beat over that. Welcome, 12k, 12 people watching. Hopefully, uh, unfortunately, like, you did join the stream when the quality went to potato again, but it'll take. A couple seconds it'll fix itself because it's wi-fi so sorry about that we'll do stick around so this is our uh we have now been streaming for like an hour and 20 minutes almost an hour and a half explaining all our decisions all our choices uh why we went what, what we did and our ratios and the names that we use etc etc so yeah this is our budget mid-range control deck and i am telling you uh right now okay so i actually pulled mimi so i can't say for certain how much mimi costs this might bring up the price but this whole deck, twenty dollars. That was every. Uh, I bought a lot. I bought like it was like a booster lot or whatever. Like the guy just put up all his cards, twenty dollars. So for that, we were able to put all this together through that and some trades. For what you don't get in twenty dollars in this set, you could probably just um, trade at your local game shop or some of it are online. So yeah, this is probably uh, the best we could do in terms of super budget. If we want to go up a bit, I think we could def because Ceresmon's price, if you guys check TCG player, Ceresmon just keeps dropping and dropping. So I think eventually we could absolutely um, work Ceresmon into this as a budget option and um, play around with the champion ratios a little bit. Like maybe these two Steamons can become a little four downloader to support um, Ceresmon. So yeah, that's an option eventually. But for now, if you are playing a uh, super budget build, green is the color you want to look into right now because like our top end is literally pennies. Mega Gargoyle is 30 cents. Stingmon, I don't know, probably also 30 cents. Argomon's probably 18 cents because a lot of people are overlooking him in this meta. Mimi should be cheap, says Isaiah Shadow. Thank you. Uh, that's good to know. I'm glad because once Booster Set 5 comes out, I do got to pick up more of them. Should do that in advance. Mint B says, this list looks fun. Will you play this deck for a couple videos or at least another video? Maybe you could even try running it in a small webcam local and let us watch or upload highlights. Yeah, absolutely. I plan to test this deck. I plan to um, take this to webcam locals, etc., etc. I'll probably just ask for um, games in the um, Discord and stuff. I'll test it against that. So we'll see uh, how that works out. I definitely do plan to test this deck out. And then like I'll take out and I'll remove based on what we get, etc. But yeah. For a budget deck, I'm liking this. Doesn't it look like... You probably can't see because of my potato quality, but doesn't it look like... Oh, what is this guy called? Rust Tyrannomon has the Omni tricks from Ben 10. Doesn't he look like he's a Ben 10 alien or something? <laughs> Completely random. But I'm looking at this card right now. That's what pops into my brain. <laughs> it looks like he has the Omni tricks on his chest. But, um... Yeah, so that's this budget list. This is a lot of fun. We've been here for like an hour and a half now, guys. I think it's a good time to call it a stream. Unless we, I would like straight up just do webcam games right now to send the stream out immediately. But the thing is, I am streaming from my phone. So I don't think, I, I can't go into Discord and do a webcam game and show the whole screen. It would only be showing my screen and you would have to like listen to my opponent, I guess. So I don't know how I would be able to switch that without um, ending the stream. I don't want to start a new one. So yeah, I'll just record games and um, upload those recordings. 
and then um, all that. Deshin says, maybe it was mentioned earlier, but I missed it. How does 1.5 green do against the other 1.5 Cutler metas? So green has a pretty good shine matchup, and shine being one of the fastest, or, or rather one of the most popular decks right now is a really good, important matchup to have right now. So that's great. It does do great against shine because you can interrupt its stack if you get stress one out early enough if you're playing that kind of build. And if not, this one um, just tries to end the game as fast as possible. Um, Rookie Rush is a really popular deck right now, though, and unfortunately green loses hard to Rookie Rush because you have, like, no options outside of Rookie Rush, outside of Flower Cannon to deal with Rookie Rush because all your other removal is too expensive. Um, you're, downloads, you're downloading your stuff half the time, so you can't swing into their um, guys with those other bodies to start removing things on field if you're going to go tall in the matchup. So, yeah, green struggles, struggles really hard against Rookie Rush. Has a pretty good matchup against a pretty really good matchup against Shine Greenmon. It struggles against Red because Red has like every tool to get rid of 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 Green because Green has a lot of these two cost guys and you will be playing them a lot just hard casting the two costs to be able to use them as download or Digisorption fodder. So you know Volcanic Dramon hits most of them. Omnimon Alter S hits most of your stuff. Uh, a lot of your champions have low DP um, because of the cheap one cost Digivolve. So it's really easy for uh, Alter S to hit that um, that D Digivolve Destruction target, that 5k B DP benchmark. So it's a really bad matchup versus red. Green, it's, it's in, uh, or not green, rather blue. If you're facing Imperial Dramon, I would say it's 50-50 because in that place, it's a race to security swings because you're both very fast decks. So I would say um, green versus blue Imperial is very, very 50-50. I would, oh, I kind of want to say it's in green's favor though, honestly, if you're playing Suresh because if you interrupt that stack, that sends a uh, blue... Imperial builds so far back. So maybe it's like 60-50. Yup, green weakness is red. Yeah, it's a really bad matchup against red. Mint B, you'll upload this, right? I want to share it. Oh, do you mean like the bot of this stream? Yeah, absolutely, Mint B. So once the stream is done, once I've closed it, it should um just turn into a regular video and then you can share the video around and stuff like that. It should already have a thumbnail and everything ready to go to. So that'll, that'll be cool. So yeah, you can share this. And then um, afterwards, I will be playing, I'll record some games with this. So yeah, you can be sharing those around too. Thanks for explaining. Local meta is 1.5, so I need to get prepped for that, Deshin says. Awesome, dude. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, hopefully, I'm glad that was helpful. Uh, yeah, if you want to, if you expect a lot of shines, because I know shines are probably a deck, green uh, will be a good choice for that. Otherwise, um, if there's a lot of shines, uh, blue Imperial is also another good choice, because it goes really fast against it. So if you do it fast enough, you can um, outpace Shine Greymon. Otherwise, if you see a bunch of red, uh, shine is your best option. If you see a bunch of green, red is your best option. I'm glad that was helpful, though. No problem explaining at all. We got 13 people in here. That's awesome. Welcome, everyone. 14 people. Nice. We're really starting to go up. So, yeah, this is a deck that we have built now. We've been here for about an hour and a half now, uh, making suggestions. Uh, what do we want to cut? What do we want to add? What ratios do we want to run? And this is the less we settled in. Uh, right now, uh, this Dino B is at 2. I only have one copy right here because um, the other ones are in my room, and I don't want to get up and leave the stream room. And then I forgot something else. Was something else at 2 that I only have one of? I forgot. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Mint B says, cool. Let's not make it too long then. I'll head off for now. Thanks so much, everyone. And big thank you to Tasty RC. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining the stream, Mint B. That was awesome. I'm glad you had fun building, uh, being in chat. That was awesome. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if there's something else you want to, uh, guys want to do again in the future with other colors. No, nah, it's the Davis that we're missing. Right, one Davis. There's one Davis in here. It's just in my other room. This guy, this is Davis. <laughs> Hold on. This is Davis. I'm just too lazy to go up and get it. I don't want to like awkward um, stream silence. So yeah, one Davis for the search. Okay, yeah. So I think that's it. We'll call it a stream now. We've been here an hour and a half. It's been really fun. Um, I, again, don't know how to switch to Discord to record the whole screen. Well, I, I do. I should have started with OBS, but like um, I only learned how to do it like minutes before the stream went live. So I was like, I'll figure it out next time for sure. And then next time I could live stream, that's something, I think that'll be way more fun. We could, or not way more fun, you know, this is a lot of fun. But I think that's like something a lot of people enjoy to see just as much is uh, we'll live stream some webcam games next time that we're doing that. We can just hang out, chill, and you guys can watch the games. We could live stream this deck. We could live stream my Imperial Dramon deck, which is what I'm testing to see maybe it'll replace Red as my main. But yeah, what if has a really fun meta? And now I am actually so excited. What do you guys think about the um since we got out of this this all out of the way? I know you guys were saying you don't want to screech about the, the four changes too much. But what do you guys think right now? All right, see so hopefully I come in a bit earlier. Yeah, hopefully. 
That's awesome. But yeah, uh, yeah. I guess just to leave you guys for the for the end of the stream, what do you guys think of the BT4, the Booster Set 4 Great Legend reveals? Like, I am very excited that we're getting those promos because those promos completely turn the meta on its head. It'll be way different than I was expecting. So I'm actually excited to play Booster Set 4 now. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are too. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. I have a deck profile video going up tomorrow. That's a really, really spicy list. So that was already pre-recorded a couple days ago. I'm excited to show share that list with you guys. It's a really good list. It's a uh, purple... Purple Security Rookie Rush. You gotta, you gotta click the videos to find out more though once it goes up tomorrow. That'll probably be up around 12, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just let you guys go. Yeah, I'm hyped for set four now. Dude, I literally was not hyped for set four and now I am, it's crazy. Ben, I should have announced that stuff way earlier. I really doubt there's any Bandai reps to sit in my streams or anything, but like guys, you gotta announce that stuff way earlier. Like, come on guys. Well, no, I guess not really, right? Because it doesn't come out until June 11th. That is pretty far out. I guess it's fair. It just feels like it was too late because um because of the stock issues. You can't find pre-orders anywhere anymore. Building Red Shine once that set drop. Yeah, dude, Red Shine is gonna be cool. That that effect to uh, Security Attack plus one with the rest of the is gonna be fun with the top end. I can't wait for that Rise Grandma. That that card is so cr crucial. All right, well that was the stream, guys. We are now streamed for an hour and a half. So that was a lot of fun. This is the deck we have built. I will be uploading videos of me playing it. I will probably live stream some games eventually with it too once I figure that out. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, this was a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now this is the part where I figure out how do I turn off the stream. Professional 1,000 sub streamer, everybody. And I don't even know how to stop the stream. <laughs> okay, let's see. How do we do this? Um, is it this button? Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yeah, I am. All right, see you, everyone. Anthony, Toronto, who? Where's the Ceres? Weird champ. <laughs> Shadow Jarek. Later, man. See you, everyone. No face reveal this time.